this project started uh, just before I became chief government architect. And um, so uh, actually it was the uh, ownership of the state in before. And uh, so and the, the I said the, the profession and uh, the, the question was uh, how to build a new theater there. So uh, the first time I just entered the building there and uh, I was really amazed because the, the government had little make little uh, changes there but it was uh, beautiful, beautiful. So I saw the construction there and uh, let's say everything around myself and me and uh, I, I knew it had to be changed into theaters, two, two theaters, let's say one multi-purpose theater and one let's say a whole theater and uh, so the only thing I got and that was my inspiration is that the building is so beautiful that I should leave it that way but to make a kind of uh, theater hall and then leave the building like that is not possible so I thought well immediately I thought well actually when I use the glass and make it just a glass hole I just see everything I, I just admire so much now so and that's, that's really the starting point, yeah. What is nice, that this whole area was a area from the Navy before. So it was just isolated from the city. And uh, of course the city really wanted to have the new theater, etc., etc., in relation to the center of the city. So we designed a route from the city center towards one uh, hole, one multi-purpose hole, into let's say the next hall which was let's say the theater hall and that's that's how they changed the whole area around there because we changed entries there and also cultural life and we add a lot of let's say uh, cultural things in it uh, like also restaurants and all this kind of thing so it became a kind of vivid life in the end the most challenging thing of course it was my thought, my, my dream, that I could make a kind of glazing hole, theater hall. And, um, and that's actually what uh, my selection was very positive about. And, but okay, when we start building afterwards, uh, the first uh, remark uh, to me from the municipality was, no, the glazing hall, we don't do it. And I said, oh, come on, come on, that's the way you choose me. So let's, let's really start and think in it how to make it there. And that, that was a very hard time. And we, we spent for, I think, more over a, a year uh, to realize that as a, as a conceptual thing. And uh, because, I mean, when you make a kind of theater hall, everything has to be fixed. I mean, the, the place is there, uh, so we have two tribunes there. It's a kind of very small hall, but a beautiful hall. It has also to do with, let's say, the stage tower, because the, the width of the stage tower has a relationship with, let's say, uh, the play there, and uh, the, pos the possibility of the plays there. And so that's, that's everything was really related to, let's say, making a kind of theater in a existing uh, production, in the industrial production hall, which is not normal, which is not used before. Actually, uh, the project came out exactly what we thought about. And of course, before the acoustics, but also before the light, when you make a, a theater hall for the, the auditorium space, let's say, okay, you have to be, of it has to be possible just to diminish it. Uh, the sound uh, is the acoustics uh, is very important there. So we made this glass and hall, the glazed hall. So everybody who came in. Uh, see the, the hall, I mean, see the old structure also, the industrial structure of the hall, which is really beautiful. And then they changed the interior of the room by, let's say, wooden pellets from 10 meters high. And they fold it, dick -a -dick -a -dick, so that you have, let's say, two, two holes, a glazing hole and a wooden hole when you are in there, but you still remain seeing the whole thing. And that's, I think that's really perfect, it's beautiful. We are really satisfied with this solution. So I think that's one, I don't know exactly, but I think that's the only glazing theater hall, auditorium hall 
in Europe. So I think it's, it's perfect. So when you have a dream, that's, that's what I learned always as an architect. When you have a dream, try to fight for it. And in the end, it will come true. So in this, this is ex accurate, this example here. Yeah? Actually, what you really have to do, you must have dreams, 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 dreams. And in the end, you realize the dreams. Sometimes not, but it's not, not this difficult. And, but you really, when you don't have dreams, you are not a creative architect.